Hi everybody, we're going to be taking a look at some various um, word problems relating to volume and surface area. Um, so let's just get started here. It says a cereal box has a length of eight and a half inches, a width of two inches, and it can hold 106 um, and one-fourth cubic inches, or 106.25 cubic inches of cereal. How tall is the box? So right away we see the cubic units which should cue us into the fact that we're dealing with not volume but excuse me not surface area but volume here volume is three-dimensional we're also referring to space the space inside the box so they basically give us two dimensions the grand total answer and then the volume so we're missing the height um, that's what we're really trying to find here so the volume formula for rectangular prism is length times width times height we know what the volume is, it's 106 and a fourth. We know the length and width, and we ultimately want to solve for h. So this basically turns into an equation. Eight and a half times two is nicely 17, and then 17 into 106 um, and a quarter. So 17, is this gonna be pretty ugly? 17, we would divide both sides by 17. Um, 17 da, 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 da. would go in six full times, and that's for the da, 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 102, leaving four and a fourth, which is exactly one fourth. And this would be something that you would use your calculator, so I'm just going to double check myself, I'm trying to do things in my head here. And we get an ad popping up, that's awesome. So 106.25 divided by 17, 6.25 or six and a quarter. Okay, um, you wouldn't be expected to do that type of division in your head, but if it was, if that one fourth wasn't there, um, we could obviously divide it out with or without a calculator. So the missing height here is six and one quarter. I want to include units, inches. And then you could always check it out, multiply all three dimensions again, and just check that you get 106.25. Okay, for number two, it says John uses 312 cubic uh, square inches of paper when wrapping a present. If the box is 12 inches by 3 inches by x inches, what is the value of x? So this case, in this case, we're looking at surface area. Um, we're talking about outside of the box, literally wrapping paper, so we're not concerning space inside. And also the fact that it says square inches should cue us into something. Again, we're dealing with a box. And in this case, we have another form. Oops. We have another formula for surface area that we know, which can help us here. Basically, the fact that there's three pairs. Um, there's six sides all together in a box, but they come in... Um, pairs here, three different pairs. We have three different types of rectangles, so we can simply multiply each pair by two. Um, and once again, like example one, we're given the final answer and we're kind of missing something. So let's designate this as L, this is W, and we'll call the missing side our height. It's kind of arbitrary what you consider what here, so it's not like we're going to get a different answer. Our properties of operation tell us we won't, commutative property and stuff like that. Um, so my, it's a good idea, like I did, to write the W and the L so you don't confuse yourself with what's what. The length was 12, and H is once again the height. So I'm going to get a number to start, but then everything else is going to contain a variable. This is going to be 72. This is going to be 2 times 3 is 6, times H is just 6H, um, and then 24H. So you see this is going to once again develop into an equation of sorts. Um, I'm going to combine like terms to give me 30h. And now I have a two-step equation in my hands. Um, I'm just going to move up here to have some more space. So I'm going to subtract 72 from both sides. That's going to give me 240. So 240 should equal 30h. And now dividing both sides by 30, we should get h equals the missing dimension, which in our case was the height, is 8. So what's the value of x? Let's make sure we answer the question. 8 inches, or just simply 8. 
because it said x inches in the original question. Okay, um, so once again, with problems related, word, word problems like this, um, or application style questions, use what you know. Um, this one could be a little confusing if you didn't just jump right into the formula. Maybe drawing a diagram can help you and then figuring out, okay, I know the two 12 by three, so you take out that 36 or 72 once you multiply it by two, and then start piecing together the unknown. Kind of, I like to just kind of, whatever I pick out right away, okay, it's volume, write down the formula for number two. All right, it was surface area, write down the formula, and go from there. Plug in what you know, try to find out what you need to know, and um, kind of keep moving. All right, and we'll take a look at one last problem here. It says we have a little visual representation of a box broken up into cubes. It says each cube has a side length of three-fourths of a centimeter. Be careful, it's not saying that the volume is three-fourths for each cube. It's saying literally these are cubes, so we could think of this like a 2D square right here. Every side is three-fourths. Okay, and we want to ultimately find the volume of the entire thing. So there's a few ways we could do this. We could figure out what the volume for each cube is, figure out how many total cubes there are, and then just simply multiply. Um, we can think of it as kind of like a ruler, a measurement, to help us find um, the length, width, and height of this prism. Let's do it that way, and we could always reference the other. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six blocks. Um, they're each three-fourths. So six times three-fourths um, is going to give us 18 over four, or four and a half. So this, let's call it our width, is four and a half centimeters. Okay, for the, we call that the width. So for our length, there's three, and luckily the height is also three, so we could use whatever we get here. There's three of them that are each three-fourths of a centimeter long. So times three is gonna give us nine-fourths, or two and a fourth of a centimeter. So it's also two and a fourth of a centimeter height-wise, because once again, there's three. Okay, and now that I have the dimensions, I can just apply my volume formula of length times width times height. Um, I'm going to write the fractions as mixed numbers. So that's going to be 9 fourths times our width is 9 over 2 times our height is also 9 fourths. Unfortunately for us, nothing cancels nicely here. Um, 9 to the third power. Um, or 9 times 9 times 9 is going to be 81 times 9, or 729. Over um, 4 times 2 is 8, times another 4, 32. And then if we want, we could check what this is. Okay, and we get pretty ugly decimal, 22. Let's see what that is, 32 times 22, 704, so there's 25, 30 seconds left over, 25 over 32. Even though I'm using a calculator, I could still check. So what I did, I saw that 32 went into 729, 22 times, and I kind of used that to help me find my remainder. So that's 704, meaning there's 25 of the um, 30, 32, or 30 seconds left over, 25 over 32. Um, that would be the volume. We want to include units, of course, so centimeters cube or cubic centimeters. Um, once again, the other way to do this would be to find the volume of each cube, which would be 3 fourths cubed, or 27 over um, 64. And then the fact that there are, um, there's 9, 54, I believe, um, cubes in this, right? Let me just verify that. So each layer has nine, and there's six layers deep. So yeah, 54. Um, doing that multiplication, you're going to arrive at the same answer. 27 times 54. Oops. 27 times 54. 1458. And dividing that by 64, we get the same answer we had, the 22 and the 25 over 32. Messy fraction, but... Okay. 
So these are some various, I tried to give you a little range of everything, volume and surface area related word problems. Hopefully you saw a pattern within, within all of these of applying a formula, applying what you know, and you know, kind of using a combination of equation knowledge, other um, areas of math, other areas that we've covered throughout this year, piecing them all together to help you arrive at an answer. Okay, thank you for watching.